Hello. Good morning. Hi. How are you guys? Good. Can you see? Can you see us all? I can. How all are right. you guys doing? We're doing good. We don't have your video. We just have your audio. Hi, oh Kevin no here. way. How do I yeah. change that? Should, oh. There should be a little X. Am I there now? We're ready. Yep, there you are. Hey, now, is it is it Capanero? Is that correct? Capanero with an A, yeah. Okay, Capanero. Uh, Ms. Capanero, this is uh, the group who ch uh, chose the College of New Jersey. Uh, Hi, guys. I'm particularly proud of them because, uh, as you know, I, I am an alma This is my alma mater. I graduated in 2005 from, from TCNJ. So when they told me that they wanted to do TCNJ, I was uh, super proud of them. So. They have prepared some questions for you, if, uh, if you wouldn't mind answering them. Awesome. Go right ahead. Okay. Who's number one? Connor, go ahead. What is your school mascot and school colors? Well, our school mascot is Roscoe the Lion, and our school colors are navy, blue, and gold. Awesome. I saw someone cheering in there, over there, in the black yeah. shirt. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. Yeah. You like navy blue and gold? Are those good colors for us? Yeah. How, <laughs> cool. How did that become your mascot? How did that become our mascot? That's a really good question. Um, it was actually, there was an article about 50 years ago after we played a basketball game, and one of the writers in the newspaper article just called us the TCNJ Lions, or the Trenton State Lions at that time. Um, and so that's how we became the Lions. And then to pick his name as Roscoe, we actually had a naming contest where our students uh, picked Roscoe to be the name of the mascot. Cool. That's awesome. Cool. <laughs> how many students attend your college and how many students attend your high school? We have just over 6,100 students. So we're considered a medium high school. That's a big. That's a big uh, contrast to. Um, we just spoke with the University of Florida this morning, who had over sixty thousand. So, it's uh, quite the contrast. But I can personally speak from uh, experience. Six thousand is just the right size for a college. Yeah, yeah. It's nice where you you have some people that you don't know, but you have a lot of people that you do know. You can meet new faces every day, but you still feel uh, like you're part of a community that you know people. So it's a nice size. Um, is, how long have you worked there? I've worked at the College of New Jersey for about a year and a half. Oh, because I was going to ask you, did, did you hear, did you um, have a graduate named Doreen Bruna? I'm sorry, what was that last question? Um, I was going to ask you if, if you had a graduate named Doreen Bruno. Hmm, Doreen Bruno. I don't know her, unfortunately. I'm sorry. That's okay. Who has number four? Go ahead, Joelle. How many students go to college at your school each year? How many start at your school each year as, uh, for each freshman class? Oh, sure. We have 1,375 students start every year. Wow, that's about 10 times what our uh, graduating class will be this year, about 10 times. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's now, pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, Before we graduate, go ahead, go ahead. how big are your class size? Yeah, with 6,000 people, your class sizes have to be very big, right? Actually, they're quite small. Our class sizes average around 23 students. Not bad Is that kind of what you guys have in your classes? About twenty-three students? No, no thirteen. We're, we're very 13. lucky. We have very small oh, class 13. sizes this year. Okay. Yep. Thirteen. Okay. Well, it's about two times the size. A little bit smaller than two times the size of your classes, um, which is different from a lot of colleges. I'm sure at the University of Florida, they probably had some larger classes, right? Some with over five hundred. They said. Yeah. See, that's quite different. At TCNJ, we have pretty small classes. Uh, like I said, averaging around 23 students. Perfect. Number six. What type of sports are activities? Oh, sports, sure. We have about 20 different varsity sports, um, and they range from everything like football, baseball, soccer, um, lacrosse, field hockey. But then we also have a lot of intramural and club sports. Uh, and those sports, we offer things like frisbee, rugby, 
bowling, golf, ice hockey. So there's a lot of different sports that you could play at TCNJ. When I was there, I, I, I didn't quite have the skills to play at the varsity level, but I played a lot of intramurals, and, and rugby was one that I had never played before until I went to college and wound up really enjoying it once I got there. So uh, it was nice because you... With the intramurals, some of them you play against other members of your school, and then others you play against other intramural teams from schools that are close close to uh, close to TCNJ's campus. Yeah, yeah, rugby is a cool sport to watch. You guys should try and watch it on TV sometime. Now, are the women's lacrosse teams still doing uh, extremely well down at, at TCNJ? They are, and our women's field hockey team actually just won the uh, championship title this year, the NCAA championship that's how, uh, up in Connecticut. Yep, that's how it was for the women's lacrosse when I was there. It was several years in a row they had taken home the national championship, so very prideful on campus when that <laughs> when that happened. Go ahead. Um, um, how, how many um, degrees do you get when you graduate? Um, well, most of our students will get one degree. They'll get their bachelor's degree. But some students will actually, they'll double major. So they'll get two degrees. Um, and they get two bachelor's degrees. One perhaps uh, in education and another one in science. One in business and then maybe a different language. So it's really, it's your own choice. Excellent. Now, do you guys offer bachelor's and master's degrees programs, correct? We offer very few master's programs. Uh, primarily, we're undergraduate focused. Um, we have some master's programs in education, mm -hmm. in nursing, in counseling, um, and that's it. Cool. Education, counseling, and nursing are, are really the few master's programs that we offer. Number seven. What types of things are there to do at your college? There are lots of things to do. We have over 200 different clubs and organizations on campus. So we have a club, uh, we have clubs that are academic based. Um, and so they focus on different subjects in the, it, within the college. And we have clubs that are more recreational based. We actually have a club here called, and I'm not sure if they had them uh, when you were there, Mr. Herbert, but it was the Manhunt Club. And they play play campus wide games of manhunt. I wish that would have been there. I, I was a proud member of the Water Watch Club, uh, cleaning up the local waterways when I was there. Mr. Oh, cool, Mr. Herbert. Go ahead. Um, do you, is there like really things you can really when it's summer? Is there something you? There's like a few games that's outside. Yeah, there's always people outside um, on our campus playing on the different sports fields, on the different uh, greens and quads we have. They're playing their own pickup games. They're playing beach volleyball. They're laying out and just tanning and reading in the sun. So all sorts of things happening outside. And it's always nice in the springtime, too, I found, because you never know if, if you're not paying attention to the sporting events, you might walk out of class and there might be getting ready to play a baseball or a softball game over on the fields and you could just walk on over and bring your books and sit down in the bleachers and study while you're watching the game, which is really a lot of fun. Yeah. Mr. Herbert, tell her your real name so she doesn't have to say <laughs> she, know, she knows uh, my name is Jess. I'm sure she looked up all the... Uh, all my old uh, college transcripts before Je before uh, before I uh, sent her that email. Go ahead, Case. Do, do you have an arrival? Do, you do have we any, have any, what? Any, any rivals? Oh, well, our big rival for athletics is actually Rowan, uh, Rowan University, which is another hey, state college of New Jersey. We have a Jersey. student here called Rowan. A There's a student named Rowan. Yes. Oh, no way. Yep. She, uh, her parents are alumni of the university, so they named her after their uh, their alma mater. So uh, oh, she, she's so very prideful in that fact, and let her, lets everyone know that that's where she'll be attending school. And she, and oh, she good for her. her own yep. Yep. That was also the rival when I was there. Ruch, uh, <laughs> Rowan and, and Montclair State in, in football was our rival. And we beat Montclair State at our homecoming this year. Yeah. I don't know if you heard. But we, we beat them in our football game at homecoming. Go ahead. Do you have proms there? 
proms. Yeah. Some of the different organizations have, they call them formals. Um, but it's the same thing as a prom. And everybody dresses up and they go to a dinner and they do a dance. Um, so, yeah, the different organizations have, have their proms. Perfect. Oh, and this is Ariana. <laughs> Hi, Ariana. Who has number nine? Oh, I am. Okay. Okay. Does your coach have any traditions? Traditions. Yeah, we do have um, one nice tradition, which is homecoming. So every year in October, all of our alumni come back to campus um, and they cheer on the TCNJ Lions as they play their football game. Um, and we have lots of cookouts, and everybody just gets together and reminisces over, you know, their times at TCNJ. They can take tours of campus um, and see how things have changed since they were last there. It's quite, it's quite, it's quite a wonderful event. I can speak from experience. And going back, uh, it's amazing to see what's changed over, even in the short amount of time that I've been out of school. I went back, and, and the new library is up. The new education building was yep. starting to get done. Uh, the science complex is really coming to it, it, it coming to its own, and uh, it, it's amazing to go back and see the changes in such a short time. And it's nice because when people go there, they kind of set up their cars in, in, in groups by the years that they were there, so you get to see people you might not have seen or talked to in quite a long time. Um, sometimes does the power go out and all that. Dorms and stuff? Dorms. Uh, dorms, yeah, dorms. Dorms, Does the power ever go out in any of the oh, dorms? Oh, does the power ever go out? No, I think they do a pretty good job of making sure that the power doesn't go out um, because students live like there all the time. So they have generators and stuff to, to make sure it doesn't. Um, does some of the people have TV, real cool stuff? Do they, do they have flat screen TVs? Yeah. Oh, do they have slides on bunk beds? Do they have ice cream? <laughs> do you have a lazy river like Alabama? Pizza? Well, I can say on, my see. sister. Um, it, <laughs> my sister um, is is going to be a sophomore this year at the College of New Jersey, and so I helped her move in to her freshman dorm last summer. And the, the kids who were unloading some of the stuff who were who were living in her dorm with her had some really cool-looking stuff. Uh, <laughs> nice yes. TVs, nice video game systems, so there's a lot of cool stuff here. Um, and that's going to be really up to you guys. When you move into your college dorms for your freshman year, it's going to be, uh, you're going to get to choose what you think is most important to bring with you there. Um, I know. So, can you can you bring your can you bring and like uh, I'm going to the school uh, and like I don't know if you you can bring your know, like DS or something. I was, yeah. I was hoping. Yeah, you can certainly. You they, can bring whatever you want. They pay. They pay for everything. I'm gonna pick college and New Jersey. Now what? Um, who has number ten? Oh, me. Go ahead, Trevor. What is your college best known for? I think the College of New Jersey is best known for our competitive academics. Um, we are a, a competitive institution and we really do a great job of preparing students for uh, life after college. What do you think of Mr. Herbert? Did we do a good job preparing him? Yeah. Oh, yeah. When, I, when I went to the College of New Jersey, I didn't know too much about becoming a teacher and it was because of the, the, the professors who taught me about teaching that... Uh, it, it, played a large role in who I am today as a teacher. So I owe a lot to the College of New Jersey, and that's why I'm very proud and very prideful to, to tell everyone where I went to school. Go ahead, Trevor. That was awesome. That was a nice speech. <laughs> what, do you, what do most people choose to attend the years? Why do most people choose TCNJ? Well, uh, I think uh, a lot of people will come to campus, and they'll just be able to feel our uh, our warm community that we have on campus. At the College of New Jersey, we really pride ourselves on making a, a strong sense of community, getting our students involved in the community. And so I think that uh, when students come to visit, they can really feel that. And so they really like that aspect, uh, that community aspect that we focus on here. And that's why they want to come. Um, what time... What, what, what time does... Like the kids come to school usually. Do they sleep there? <laughs> Ooh. Everything okay over there? Yeah. yeah. A chair fell down. Oh. 
Um, yeah, the students will sleep on campus. So they have classes throughout the day, and they, they kind of get to choose when they want to have class, if they want to have class early in the morning or in the afternoon or at night. But a lot of students will live on campus. When, when, you st when, you, when you go into college, you'll get to make your own schedule. So if you know that it, you, you'll have a hard time waking up in the morning, you might have, choose to have your classes start at 10 or 11 o'clock in the morning rather than at 8.30 because you know that you don't. It, it's hard for you to get up to go to school in the morning. Or you might say, you know what, I'd rather have all my classes early in the morning so by the afternoon time I could go to a job or I have time to go play sports or do something else in the afternoon. So it's, it's you have the ability to choose when you think it's best for you to go to school. Do they have a beach there? <laughs> we have um, beach volleyball courts, so there's volleyball courts with sand on them, but there isn't a beach with the ocean. And there is a recreational pool that they can use at certain hours, correct? Yes, there is a pool on oh, campus. Yep. I, have a, I have a question. <laughs> well, let's move on to the other one first. Go ahead, 12. How big is your campus? Um, it's like 300 acres. So if you were to draw a circle around it, it's about two miles. And trust me, I've walked across from one end to another. It's not that, doesn't take that long to get across. Wait, no, is it number 13? Yeah, number 13, go ahead. How do most students get around the campus? A lot of the students will walk. Uh, some of them will ride their bikes or their skateboards, but mostly students walk. Ooh, I, um, um, when, when you go to the college in New Jersey, do mm -hmm. they have stuff for you there, like like bikes, skateboards, or do you have to bring it from home? You have to bring your own. Yeah, but you know what, if you do bring them, a lot of times there's clubs where if you wanted to be in either a skateboarding club, when I was there, I was part of the surfing club as well, so they uh, they had a surfing club there, so all the, all the kids who enjoyed surfing would talk to each other, and if there was waves, we'd drive down the, down the highway to Belmar and go surfing in, in the, uh, you know, when there was waves, we'd all wake up early and do different things like that. It's, is it number 14? Go ahead. What are the most popular areas of study, study. study at your school? We see a lot of students who will major in the sciences, so biology, chemistry, um, engineering, business, and education are probably our most popular areas. I would I would definitely agree. Uh, engineering was very big when I was there, and as was education was very competitive to get into. Yep, go ahead. What is the cost of your school? So the cost of everything total, uh, tuition, including living on campus, is about $24,000 per year. I mean, you have to actually pay that much. <laughs> well, they do have a they they do have a lot of programs that are, are out there, and that kind of leads us to 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 the other question: was does does TCNJ still offer any scholarships? We offer a lot of different scholarships. We have scholarships for students who do really well in school, uh, who have high SAT scores and high class ranks. We have a scholarship for students who really like community service and do a lot of community service. Um, we have another scholarship uh, for, for students with uh, academic talents and um, ex certain experiences. And then we have our EOF program and our Promise Award uh, for students with financial hardship to help bridge the gap between uh, the loans they get from the government and the cost of attendance. Now, when, when people are applying to TCNJ, you guys don't just look at their SAT or ACT scores and class rank. You kind of take the, into consideration some stuff they've done in the community too, correct? That is absolutely correct. Uh, before I was talking about our community experience at the college and how we like to be part of the community. Um, so we look for students who have done stuff throughout high school uh, to get involved with their community. We also look for students who have uh, great letters of recommendation, so teachers that they've had who really think that they're great students to, to say that. So there's all sorts of different things that we look at when, when students apply. Now, does, the, does TCNJ have any famous alumni? Oh, me and my, my co-workers here were trying really hard to find some famous alumni, but unfortunately, we besides Mr. Herbert, we couldn't think of any of the famous alumni. <laughs> Thank you for the flattery. 
<laughs> now, what do you enjoy most about working at TCNJ? Oh, I think it's just a beautiful, beautiful campus, um, and it's just a great community of people to to be involved with. The Students here are so smart, and they're so driven, and they do so many great things that it's it's great to just associate with them and uh, and and think that I help them in any little way to, to get to do the great things that they're doing. While looking at the buildings on a nice sunny day like today, it doesn't hurt either. I, I tell all the students all the time that uh, I can't go anywhere in the state without running into a fellow alumni from TCNJ. <laughs> It's something about the camaraderie when, when you recognize each other that, uh, you know, it, it's, it's something that I think is hard to match with any other schools in, in, in the country. Although it's, it's a smaller school, you know, tucked away in New Jersey, I think it's got a, a wonderful personality to it. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. A few questions. Go ahead, Trevor. Is it, can you eat pizza there? Can, can you eat pizza there? Oh my goodness, we have a whole section in the dining hall where they just make a bunch of different kinds of pizza. So yeah, you can eat a lot of pizza there. <laughs> okay, who else? Joelle, go ahead. Do you have chicken noodle soup? Yeah. Chicken noodle soup. Yes, of course we have chicken noodle soup. <laughs> Casey? What's your favorite activity there? My favorite activity? Good question. I, I really like to go watch all the shows. Um, the theater productions, the musicals, the concerts that they do on campus. I think the students are really talented. Excellent. DJ? Um, do you get married there or do you have to wait? Some people can get married at the college. We do have a, a nice little spiritual center on campus where they have weddings sometimes. Who, is there anybody, is there anybody who, do you, any, do you know anybody who got married there? I personally don't know anybody who got married there, but I have seen weddings taking place on campus. Cool. <laughs> All right, Trevor. Two, last two. Trevor and Joel. Go ahead, Trevor. Do you have video game clubs? Yeah. Do you have I'm sorry, it froze. What did you say? Do you have any video game clubs? Video game clubs? Yeah, we actually have a, a whole major in video game design. Wow. Um, and creating yes. video games. Wow, we that's, do have video oh, games. that's something new that I, I didn't even know. I video do game that. design major. That's I excellent. Wanna, yeah, oh, cool. it's one of our newer majors that we have on campus. Excellent. Joelle? Do they show movies there? Yes, they do. They show movies all the time oh, uh, on your TV. Show. You can watch them in your room or you can watch them in the student center. I've, so lots of movies. Um, um, if when. You just if like if you're in a ga um video game design club, um, mm -hmm. can can you actually get like you can actually make a game and actually um let people play it on like the internet or something? Yeah, you got oh, it. So, um, <laughs> all right. Well, I think you have successfully encouraged them all to reach for the stars and, and apply to TC and J. Yeah, so I cannot ring. thank you enough. What do we say? Thank you. Go Lions. Go Lions. That's right. Go Lions. Thank you so much. Have a great afternoon. You too. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.